here with director Orson Krennic, Ben Mendelsohn. Congratulations, the world premiere of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. How you feel? I feel pretty excited, pretty excited. Now, how does it feel to represent the Empire here? I should hide my, my pin, yeah, I thought. It's your little rebel leanings there. It's unfortunate. It's a sign of immaturity, I think, but uh, oh. you're young. Well, well, rebellions are built on hope, so I'm starting small, you see. <laughs> Uh, that's how that's how we that's how these things start. It's an appropriate place to start in this rebellion. Hope is very very small. That's right, and you like to keep it that way. I do like to keep it that way. We want peace and order in the galaxy. That's right. So now tell me about playing a villain. You're obviously able to really sink your teeth into this part. Are you the hero of your own story? Uh, what is it like uh, playing Krennic, and what did you want to bring to the role in terms of that integrity? Um, I think yeah, they are the hero of their own story. I think villains, and I wanted him. I just wanted people to feel him, you know, in whatever regard that is. Um, I wanted them to feel him, yeah. you know? Yeah, sure. And you have a great sense of humor, obviously. Are you able to kind of bring that uh, uh, humor in a certain way to, to parts of Krennic? Yeah, yeah, it's there. I mean, there, there, are little, there are little touches, but this is a much, this is a much harder edge Star Wars film. So the humor is there, um, but it's very, you know, hopefully delicate brushes. Fantastic. Well, well, we're so glad to uh, see you here. We Congratulations on the movie. We can't wait. We're just moments away, and we have more of Rogue One, a Star Wars story premiere, coming right up.